<clears throat> you can see this here is just this giant facility. Back door is wide open. This is a loading dock here for the truck. You can see it's flooded at the end. All right, I'm gonna grab my headlamp and we're gonna go on inside. So you guys can see this place is, uh, it's pretty empty. It's a huge facility. <clears throat> Lots of cool graffiti in here. Over here, it looks like there's a, lemonade, a remnants of an old electrical box. Look over here, is a bunch, a bunch more electrical boxes. Probably for running some uh, heavy equipment. <clears throat> uh, I looked online. I couldn't find too much about this location. I'm not sure what it used to be. Uh, if anybody figures out where I am and you have any idea, well, you know what it used to be. Um, just drop it in the comments, check it out. I'll continue to do more research myself. Um, but again, you know, I have no clue what this used to be. Bunch of junk on the floor, more electrical boxes over there on the wall. So this is the main room when you walk in. Uh, when I came the other day, it was raining, so it's kind of wet in here. The roof leaks. What does this thing say on it? Nitric acid solution. <laughs> That's nice. I wonder if there's anything in it. Nah, it's empty. And I walked into the second room here. You can see the roof is caving in up there. More graffiti, more electrical boxes. <clears throat> they have this old time clock here. An old Cincinnati time clock, it looks like. So emergency lights. An old punching clock here. Uh, I'm gonna go check out this side first because it doesn't seem like there's much over here, but it's worth taking a look. Don't think I'm gonna be able to get to the <clears throat> middle of the floor because it's all flooded. But if you take a look there, guys, there's a piece of equipment straight in front of me. Not quite sure what it is. Um, let me see if I can get over there without getting flooded. Yeah, if anybody knows what this is, uh, also drop it in the comments, because I have no clue.
We have a couple old thermostats on the wall. <clears throat> bathroom Guys, look over here. It looks like there's some air vents that were probably hooked up to some machines. We have some more electrical boxes. Over here, we have some more electrical boxes, air vents. Here we just have some type of an empty room. There's nothing in here. If you guys look this part of the building right here, you can see the roof is completely starting to cave in. See some of the duct work just has fallen down. See some old shopping carriages in there. And over here you have these rooms. I'm not sure what, what's in here, but uh, let's check it out. Another bathroom over here, no sink, hand dryer is still there, hey check it out guys, what is up guys, here we have another room, nothing in it, circuit breaker, And through here, guys, this has some paneling, some thermostats in it. This looks like it could be like an office area or was an office area. There's another room. It's had curtains in it at one point. So this is, yeah, this whole area, this building had to be like an office area. Right there is the front door. Uh, it's completely locked from the front. But again, the back is what's open. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to head over to the other side of the building. Uh, see if I can see what's over there, if there's anything else to look at. Again, this building's immense. There's just not much in it. Uh, you can see more graffiti on the wall over there. <clears throat> Apparently, you got a little uh, cubbyhole area over there for little people. I'm just going to check this side out, see if this leads to anything. 
it's safe to go over here. There was another room over here. Oh yeah. Oh wow, look at this. You got some oil, oil tanks in here. A couple of bathrooms. Another hand dryer. Uh, so let me go see what's on the other side. You can see people pulled down all of the uh, piping that had any wire in it. Any copper wire that was in here is gone. And over here, there's just some more debris, some more electrical boxes. You have an old style clock over here. Magic stuff. Some more electrical boxes on that side of the building. All right, guys, and that's pretty much, that takes you to the side where the roof was caving in. So that's pretty much all there is to see on the inside of it. I'd like to know what this big thing is here in the middle um, that I videoed earlier. I'm not quite sure what it is, there's nothing on it. It's definitely some type of machine. All right, I'm gonna go uh, back outside. I'm gonna explore a little bit of the outside of the building, see if I can find anything else. Guys, look here, there's one garage door. And straight ahead, there's another one. And this right here, like I said, this is the entrance. This is where I came in. This is wide open for anybody that wants to come in here. You are under 24 hour closed circuit TV surveillance. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it would be an adventure. If I didn't keep walking here. Guys, take a look. Uh, there's definitely a building down here further. Again, this is behind that facility that I just uh, was videoing in. This is pretty cool. If you guys take a look, there's some satellites just beyond just beyond those uh, pine trees there. I'm not going to go much further because I'm sure there are cameras, but I just wanted to get a video of the tower because it is kind of cool. Communications tower. I'll blur out the uh, address and whatnot. 
on that sign right there. But uh, this is pretty cool. Guys, look, there's some satellite dishes over there, lots of wires. If you look, here's the building. And uh, here's the tower. That's as far as I'm going to go. There's not much more to see here. All right, guys, turn around, head back. If you look, here's the path that leads down here. All right, guys, so definitely not the most uh, exciting place, but... It is kind of cool. It's just left here. Guys, look right here. Here's the solar field that's next, right next to this building. 